This is the Audi S6 e-tron Avant Power, 550 horsepower, all-wheel drive, has a 100 kilowatt hour battery, 95 kilowatt hours can be used. And today we're going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. I'm going to do this test on the highway because it's just easier to drive a constant speed. But you can take this as an estimation if you drive highway and a country road as a mix. If you need a bit to get to the highway or something, then you can take this, you can estimate what your range will be. This car's 21 inch wheels, 275 in the rear, 245 in the front, gigantic, has a heat pump of course, and I'm charging now to 80%, which it does amazingly well, 800 volt battery system, I saw 270 kilowatt in there, should take 21 minutes from 10 to 80%, and then we go. This video is brought to you by EV Supply, accessories for your EV. They support a lot of different brands, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Cupra, Tesla and BMW. Use the link in the description below to get 10% on accessories. And they also have winter tires and rims, different designs and cheaper than at your car dealer. Use the other link to get free shipping within Germany and Austria and contact the support to get better conditions for shipping for the EU. EV Supply. I'm on my way again. Now I'm driving 113 on the speedometer because that's 110 kilometers per hour uh, GPS speed. Reset my trip. I'm in efficient mode, as I said, charged to 80%. And my climate is on 21 and a half degrees, but in eco, since we are in efficiency mode and it shows me that it's blue, it's not heating. So we're good. This is the lowest consumption it can have. Uh, of course, the air outside has an impact. It's 14 degrees right now. I used 10% of the battery, drove 55 kilometers. Then you know what the full range will be. But of course, this is not accurate at all or using only 10%. And every time I have to pass, I accelerate a bit because it's just mean. I say it every time, but I want to start a, <laughs> a movement. You should do that. Don't pass with 110 when everyone else is driving 130. It's just mean. Yeah, drive it is, it is busy, busier than this morning, but it's still okay. I'm fine with it. Okay, how is this car when we drive 110 and it's nicer and quieter? So before I said with 130 wind noise or tire noise, I don't know exactly. And the podcast was a bit difficult to understand. Now at 110, it's no problem at all. It's really nice. Of course, it's, it was already comfortable at 130. So it is like this right now as well. I have the seat ventilation on right now. I put my temperature down, but no AC. Maybe I need even two seat ventilation steps here. And I can turn on the massage with a button on the steering wheel. Tells me here I have three different ones, uh, programs, and I have intensity setting three levels. That's it. I used 25% of the battery and drove 139 kilometers. I think that's 556 kilometers of full range. If I just calculated in my head and yeah, I'm old. 174 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption. Amazing. Um, I'm on my way back from the turnaround point and 
but not the turnaround to go back to the Georgia. We'll soon in Dickendorf where we'll drive then the A92 in direction of Munich. I know my turnaround point. I already calculated a bit. I know the kilometers, but there's also the stupid construction zone again. I turned around I'm on my way on my way back to the charger 104 kilometer and it thinks 49 minutes and my average speed is 107 so it will be 58 minutes so I think it thinks the average speed is around 120 something like this so it it doesn't take the speed that I'm doing. It also thinks I will arrive with 13%. We'll see. <laughs> but I don't think so. It's again a bit busier, but it's okay. I can survive. We'll see A3 then, the last 40 kilometers or so. How busy is it, is it then? But I can already see when I do my power test later, here it's still busy. So even on a Sunday, stupid holiday season. Two weeks it's over. Then Bavarian uh, 15th of September, Bavaria is over with holidays and then whole of Germany, hopefully whole of Europe, holidays are over. No more, a lot of traffic. I totally forgot to film when I was at 30% where I would have used 50% of the battery. It was sadly, now I'm at 24%. <laughs> but I calculated it's 514 kilometers of range that uh, the car can give me right now. Uh, I'm have to pass as usual. It's so busy. Caravans driving slow. Yeah. We're almost there, another 34 kilometers. It still thinks we arrive with 15%, but it's nine minutes later than it thought before. I arrived with 17%. 324 kilometers the car shows Google Maps says it's 328 kilometers average consumption 178 watt hours per kilometer I'm getting 270 kilowatt that's the stuff that's what I want to see at 25% I calculated the range and get to 520 kilometers of range now it's nice and warm, 22 degrees and sunny, AC was on, very nice. I'm gonna charge now to 80% and then I'm gonna go to an extra stretch of highway where I wanna do the power drive. Hopefully drive the top speed of 240 kilometers an hour. We'll see. <laughs> very, very busy. Um, if you wanna compare the result to other cars, there's a Google spreadsheet in a link in the description below so you can compare. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1. If you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you wanna know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel where I started vlogging behind the battery link Link is in the description as well. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.